So what's up, man? Ain't nothing to it. Oh, ain't nothing to it. Mm. Um, went to the store earlier. We did. Went went to the store to get some brews. Brad's got my got a shirt on with me taking a sitting on the toilet, and all of a sudden the girl behind the counter is like. I'm sitting there. Danny was paying for his beer. I walk up behind him, kind of beside him, and she, I, I noticed, that I didn't think about it either, that I was wearing the shirt. And then <laughs> then she looks down at my shirt, and then she looked over at Danny and she said, uh, is that a picture of you? <laughs> <laughs> right there? Yeah. I take him around with me as a billboard. <laughs> billboard. <laughs> for what I'm doing to the game. <laughs> Shitting all over the game. Y'all got a bathroom in here? Yeah. <laughs> He's on heroin. I, I said we're him. we're good friends, man. <laughs> <laughs> and what'd she say? Yeah, human billboard. <laughs> uh, how about that one? <laughs> human billboard. Next, that's gonna be like oh with the sex trafficking thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like no. <laughs> Oh, I'm not a sex trafficker. <laughs> now, what, what I just you? pay people to be billboards. <laughs> hey, it's a legitimate job. Sounds like it walk does. around with this on the shirt. Yeah, well, it's... what did she say after that? What did she say to you? Oh, uh, she said nice, and then uh, said you should get a. I, oh yeah, I should get a photo of him on the toilet on my shirt, and we could just hang out. <laughs> And I thought, I thought, then this chick is pretty quippy. I mean, <laughs> she's because she's a quippy chick. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Can you imagine? I was like, no, we don't need to go that far. We ain't friends like that. <laughs> quippy chick. Quippy chick. That sounds like somebody that has a speech impediment trying to say crispy chicken. Quippy chick. Quippy chick. <laughs> Do you want to order chicken? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I don't want a quippy chick. <laughs> Small or large? Yeah. <laughs> quippy chick. Quippy. Extra quippy. <laughs> I have an extra quippy. Or like you're. Like or like you're at a gang. The quips. <laughs> the quips. Yeah. And the wards. <laughs> what? <laughs> The quips. In the woods. The quips in the woods. Yeah. I'll piss these people off. <laughs> piss who off? The, the, impediments? No. The, the quips of the woods. Impediment is nothing more than no, an accent. The, the quips of the woods. Oh, shit. Of course it is. Have you ever been to around where I live? Yeah. And, and listen to some of that. Um, and, and I've been around here and listen to some of that. I mean, people all around the United States have very strange uh, accents. Yeah. It sounds like an impediment. Choice like Boston. Of, choice of words, like, you know, what we would, if you opened up the the source and what we would use is something. But, but also use a different word. That's all relative on where you're living and where you're coming from, because people in Boston are probably thinking, yeah, listen to the people in the South. They sound crazy. Yeah. They're doing it louder though. Yeah, they're very, <laughs> they're definitely doing it louder. And with, yeah, more vigor for sure. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying different parts of the country all have all it, different. All at the same time. Oh, yeah. You're not, I, dig you know, people, uh, I dig people from uh, up north. I do too. Man. I want to talk about Quippy. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. They'll turn your ass around. You're like, what? One time, one I'm just slow. They're so Quippy. What I'm saying, hey, fuck you. Ah! <laughs> That's, That's real, my joke. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't have it. And it, and it. And then what we man, that's some deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, thank, 
<laughs> He's here for two nights only, folks. Two nights only. <laughs> this guy. Whatever. Uh, I do like him. We don't use that more because we're not that funny. What? Or that wasn't really funny. <laughs> but maybe that's what it was. You needed a little extra sauce. I did. I think we need it. Right. It, well, it came too late. You know, they, they our, our uh, audience is slow tonight. They were very slow on that joke. I don't know if it was uh, the deliverance or what. Deliverance? The deliverance of the joke. Delivery. <laughs> the, oh, oh. Deliverance the deli- is a movie <laughs> that didn't go well for... <laughs> Dueling banjo. Dueling banjo. Yeah, yeah, dueling first, banjos started off you're in bad. Georgia, you don't want to. Poor was inbred it? kid kills banjo. Was it uh, Georgia? Fucking. It wasn't Georgia, wasn't it? Yeah, I oh, think it was. Shit. I think it was the Flint River. <laughs> oh shit! Well, uh, it Georgia. I think I'm not sure. I can't. I can't be that. But I. Well. Uh, Burt Reynolds lived. In Georgia for a long time. He lived in up in near the Cula. And we brought Burt Reynolds up in this show before. Uh when we were at the pizza place uh in Louisville and Burt Reynolds big painting of him on the wall with the uh, naked. Yeah, apparently they did a he did a, a playgirl photo shoot. Photo shoot back in the day with his uh shit tucked. Or something, I, but or maybe they just painted it on the wall that way. I did they have uh, a fruit pizza, over the? It was a pizza, was a piece of fruit no, over. It. No, no, it, it was wasn't. because it was like a huge thing of Burt Reynolds butt ass naked on the what wall, they, but it looked like his shit was tucked up. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna uh, figure out what this is. We're here. playing at the Phoenix Tavern. Spinelli's in Louisville is where that Spinelli's. Spinelli's. It's a good good pizza joint. It was good. It was good. Is that still open? Okay, it is open. Go go check it out and see the Burt Reynolds. So you're saying that place is called Spinelli's or he had his Spinelli's (laughs) tough? Both, she says. Both Spinelli's tucked in. I don't, man. I hey, here's the thing. I do have a picture of that somewhere. I've got a couple of pictures of uh, in there. I think of you, Danny. One of them, it seemed like they have a uh, one of those horses that you can ride. Or hang on, it was a car. It was a big car or something like that. I got a picture of you sitting inside of it. Yeah, we were crazy. A big car? It was a car inside the place. Now, I don't know if it was one of those, um, was it a one you put coins in and it moves? Oh, no. <laughs> I got, no, got that one. I'm wrong on that, but anyway, I've, I've, been in, I've got some pictures of you. I'll try to dig them up and word. post them on here. Word. Not It's not the one where he's like Burt Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> he almost spit it out. <laughs> and there never will be. <laughs> Ginny Bills. <laughs> Taking the shits as far as it gets. <laughs> Ginny Bills over it or whatever. Yeah. Ginny Bills. Or Ginny Bills. Or juicy Fruits. Ju- <laughs> Twigs and berries. <laughs> um, yeah, twigs and berries. Yeah. <laughs> My damn sabbaty paps. <laughs> sabbaty paps. <laughs> it was my sabbaty paps. Yeah, man. Cover up my sabbaty paps. Yeah, yeah man. Mm. Stay off my sabbaty paps. December 8th, Friday night, Macon, Georgia. Rehab plays the Hargrave Capitol Theater at 7 p.m. Be there or be square. Friday night, December 15th, Rehab plays West End Trading Company at 8 p.m. Sanford, Florida, United States. Friday night, December 16th, Rehab plays the Harbor Bar at 8 p.m. Safety Harbor, Florida. Oh, man. Uh, so last time, last week, um, we were uh, still talking about Southern Discomfort, which is super awesome. Um, here's the car that's in Spinelli's. Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a Cadillac, isn't it? A, a black Cadillac? Is it the table itself is where you eat? Yeah, that's Yeah, the, I guess you can eat inside of it. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Lincoln Continental with suicide doors, black on black, 
<laughs> I like how you just scatted that thing out, oh, right? Man. That was great. I had to. <laughs> was that last time we were here? We were talking last week. So it was, you know, remember last week we were talking about, still talking about Southern Discomfort. Uh, that awesome record. And last week we played. Miss Jones, and uh, that was done by uh, a lot of different people, but Cody Chestnut had the uh, guitar part, came in with that, and the chorus, I think, which is, it's a weird, it's a, a lot of weird uh, stuff said in that song, right? Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it, it uh, what's about lends armpit? itself to, huh? Armpit hair, and I do, you know, I, I don't know, I was picturing like a very young girl that's so um <laughs> no nah, that's so you know when country they, you know she ain't i mean it really ain't you know shaved up real good you know what i mean <clears throat> okay. but i don't dig that shit <laughs> i don't do not dig armpit hair at all but i'm just saying i thought it was kind of shocking and it'd be a funny uh Thing. Something to put in the song, like you know, and I dig her on pit hair because I, I thought it was gross. It. I thought everybody else would, yeah. And I thought that when you said it in the song, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. And it, it did to put the little flare on it, <laughs> yeah. You did, and then uh, then you want to take it to a picnic, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah just uh, uh, cool, yeah, really, uh, just a different song, but you know what, it, it falls in the groove of this record for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. it really does. Somehow it falls in the groove of this record, but um, we're moving on this week. Uh, yes, yeah, we- basically about an underage girl flirting with you, and you know she's more, but you can't really do nothing. You're just thinking. You know what I mean? It's a creepy song. It yeah, that sounds. But creepy. I didn't. Yeah, but at the time, but- in the '90s with the rehab thing and all that, we were thinking on some sick shit because there was a lot of shit going like. We were watching sick ass movies, you know, natural born killers, and you know, just everything was, you know, <laughs> test the boundaries, yeah, and, pushing the pushing the envelope. That shit was probably way uncalled for in a. Well, even though there was nothing in there, no, bad, there's nothing in there. Bad. I probably made it sound worse than yeah. it is. <laughs> you made really did. Yeah. No, but but here's the thing about it. Um, it. Like we were talking before, this whole thing is art. It's not like it's not like that you, you know, I mean, we're going to listen. I mean, we did, you know, my addiction, really? I mean, the stuff that you're saying in there, come on, this is this is a this is art somewhat parodied and you're, you're being facetious on this. Yeah, it's, you it's, know, it's like one of the most popular songs on this record that, that became more when it really popular was sitting in a bar and it's kind of, you know, it's facetious parody kind of, it's yeah. not real. Yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. real. I mean, okay, it's so real. It is. For but a lot it, it, of people. Oh, I know, yeah. And a lot, well, and, and a lot of things that I've been through and a lot so of, is but Jones. it's not, <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, I was just picking on people in my mind, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? I, I know what you mean. Sometimes like shit, I can remember, Man, right now I could do a song about one dude who said some shit to me way back in the day. I remember shit. Oh man, you know what I mean. So, yeah. but I don't really do that too much. I just kind of work memories and re- look at the picture and draw from that, and then. Well, that, that Miss Jones is a good one. Anyway, it's a good one. Yeah, uh, yeah I've always loved it. Uh, one time, I, I, you guys used to do kind of an alternate version of it live a little bit. It was very cool. Miss Jones? Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day when it was, you know, Mike and Mike and Hano and all of them, it, uh, I've, I recorded it. It's on, I'll uh, put a link up. It is, I've recorded Mrs. 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 Jones. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. It's different. It's cool as shit. And you did Miss Jones the same night. So. Going on. Yep. Could actually hear well, that. 
Mrs. 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 Joe. I, uh, but you know, you did a you you could you could really do it all kinds of versions of that one. Oh my! Well, that's a real song. You know that song, Mrs. Jones. You got a thing going on. Oh, definitely, definitely. Da, 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 da. I might have been in the wrong. You might have uh, register. <laughs> yeah, I think you were, but you might have been. I don't know. I, like I said, I'll have to go back and listen to that song, but y'all go check it out. I'll I'll post it. Y'all come to WRBN um, podcast Facebook page and look for that stuff. Uh, tonight, next song on here is, oh man, and I and I know you've been waiting to talk about this song. Uh, it's Mission Impossible. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. What what tell me about this song? We it's really know. I think it was an interlude. And um It doesn't say interlude on there. Right. It just looks like a uh looks like a regular track song. And it, but right. You, and you, were you saying at the at, when we first started this record that you you were thinking that that was gonna be the first the first track on here? And like you were saying something about that. Remember when uh Brooks was uh, had the idea, the escape idea, <clears throat> and you were start. You started bringing this this up immediately because this is kind of like that. Doodaloo, doodaloo. Yeah, Brooks did the doodaloos and um, the earworm part of the <laughs> of the uh, Mission Impossible thing. And um, how did this how did this uh, idea come about? Just sitting around uh, in the studio. You know, m- crazy mental energy, just people trip, and anything came up back then, and we'd just start go running with it. Run, see if anything, anything came up to it. Okay. Anything. And I'm still that way, kind of, but not, but at the time, <clears throat> because there was no, no big internet, there was internet, but there wasn't all this stuff around us, and I had never put a record out. On a label, and you know when you're, and I was young, you you don't, and you don't know that you'll ever be anybody. You just got a record deal, and so you do all these things that people love to hear, but you don't really. Um, some things you don't realize what you're saying, like or how it sounds or how it comes across. So I had to kind of regulate. My uh, creative energy to a bit, you know, I mean, to an extent, because, yeah, we, I mean, me and Brooks used to say some crazy shit, like, like really crazy. Like, you told me that you, that you guys were like thinking, yeah, wait till next record. Yeah, you just yeah, wait. Yeah, we're going to yeah. fucking come, come uh, apart. You know? yeah. I mean, you were saying that a few episodes ago about this record. Yeah, so. and, it, and it was, a, and, and it was, Kind of a shock rock, uh, shock rock, yeah, yeah. Thing was shock, going on back shock. then. Well, I mean, you guys were shocking uh, in the beginning, and on on this one too. I mean, from the, you know, it, it's 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 little, it's different. I mean, we've talked about how how this record, you know, how it wouldn't be received very well today uh, with some of the stuff that's on it, not the music. I don't know. I mean, I it don't, might be. I Who knows? Know that it was... There's some crazy shit out there right now. You know what I mean? I don't I mean, know that it was yeah. received well back then. It was received well by the people that liked it, but the, <laughs> the label, they, I mean, I just don't the, think back then they like, they knew work? what to do with us. It was just like, did they, did they, uh, were they, did you bring them stuff and they were like, oh, I don't, or did you do the no. whole thing in there? Or were they overseeing any of this? Uh, no, I mean, or did you just do it and take it to them? We just started doing shit, and you know, you don't typically you don't get, but if you do very well, especially at the time, they said if you do very well on your first week, you'll get three videos, three singles, and you know that's okay. That's fucking doing it on an album. Yeah, you know, three vi- three, three singles, you get three yeah. videos that a label's paying for, and they're high dollar videos, and blah 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 blah, and. You know, you get to that point. That's going to be traction. That's, yeah, that's a lot going on. Shit's playing on radio, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we had It Don't Matter came out first, and um, it did really well. 
but there, I, mean, I just there wasn't a second single. And if there was, which we found out later, that sitting at a bar was this. You know, we found out way later that it was big. It is so. Well, you know, it's like it's just crazy how stuff happens. So why did why did uh, why did you do you got so you got a record deal, and then this is what amazed me about the thing when I heard it when I'm going through these tracks the first time I guess uh, Mission Impossible comes on and I'm like who the who the, who the fuck does this something like this when they uh, on their first record. It just seems crazy, crazy to me. And I re- always wanted to ask you this because I think it's insane. Now, it's kind of cool. It's it's cool. But at the same time, it's like, what the fuck are these guys thinking? I mean, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, it was manic. Uh, just manic all the time. It was real manic. Like, I can't imagine what the record company thought when they fucking heard that track. I, I don't even know. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I don't, I don't doo-doo, know. Doo-doo, it probably... Doo-doo. We never discussed it with them. <laughs> I guess. What they did never... Gary think? He was like, this I don't is cool. know. What, what? I don't know. That's why I'm trying to figure out how was it received by everybody that was standing around. Not you, just you and Brooks, because it's crazy, and you guys were doing crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, mean, so. I can't remember. How the I don't, fuck? I don't see how we got you? away with that either. I don't see how around it got Gary on the record. Nate. It seems like Nate would have said, yo, man, that's just stupid. <laughs> it, I mean, it seemed, you know, it's... Uh, Mission Impossible. But we we was I remember we sitting there. I started. That just sounds like, dum, 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 or whatever it was. And I know Brooks ran in there and was like, doo-doo, doo-doo. <laughs> and you then, just used this one went, went with it. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know? So it just seems odd to me. I I don't I don't know how it got on the tra- on the record. I do not because. <laughs> um, it, was there more tracks? I mean, we've. I think I've asked you this before, or was it just everything that went on the record, other than Chico and the Man, and then there was the Back in Black kind of uh, little yeah, thing. I don't and remember. Then, what then there was that something was. else. You said there was something else too, but we can't remember what that was. Uh, was there? Was you don't think there was anything else that you guys had recorded for this? Because the next record like is stacked three, full of songs. Three, man. four song demo that we did, and I can't. Uh, that's the one that got us up. But, uh, yeah, you didn't put that, Mission Impossible in there. Uh, and then we did that sample this CD. Oh yeah, that's out there. Yeah, somewhere with the whatever. That was yeah. That was just a sample CD. You know that back in then times, you did all kind of different things. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You do well. You would do whatever. Yeah, I mean we did. It was uh, so crazy. Uh, Blue Streak, one of the popular. Huh? The the record, the song you did for Blue Streak. Mm-hmm. Popular, is give it? me my money. Yes, very popular. Uh, really popular on um, YouTube. Mm-hmm. It's one of your most uh, popular videos on there, actually. Uh, for some reason, it seems like lately it's it's really pop. I don't know why. Uh, and that's just looking at some of the analytics and stuff like that. Some of the, but it's popular song. I mean, analytics like opening the trunk of Chappaquiddick and the Kennedy did it uh, spit it uh, there's bumping in the trunk and it's not my kick a box <laughs> I like the Chappaquiddick let's, let's check out this uh, this, this uh, hit else? song you got going uh, Mission Impossible Yes. Just pieces of it, just have it and rap over that shit. Don't, 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 don't. That shit would be great. 
Oh, Paper that's Mission, Mission Impossible yeah. <laughs> from the record Southern Discomfort. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Oh, it's kooky. It's kooky. It's it's wacky. It's, it's wackadoo. Hey, <laughs> it's left of self-centered. <laughs> it's very left of self-centered. What is up with that song? Left of self-centered. That's an album by Butch Walker. Butch Walker. Famous country western singer. No, we ain't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what? He probably could. There be is if a he Butch wanted. Walker that's country western singer. Well, he's not that famous, but there well, is one. He, I think he lives in Nashville. He does live in Nashville, I think. Well, but. that's a step. That's a step closer to being a country western singer, isn't it? Step in the he right direction. He could be if he wanted. He's a talented, talented dude. Yeah. If you want to see all of these podcasts on video like me, come support us on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com and look for WRBN Podcast. You will see every episode on video and some extras. Come check it out. Uh, I got a, um, got a question for you this week. Danny, out of our question box, pulling it out right now. Let's see. Let me get the yeah, right we one. need to get a box. I got a box right over there. We could act like that was a question box and look like then it looked a real romper roomish. I this, see Billy and Joey. This thing, the food mystery. No, the box. one behind it. <laughs> this, yeah, that's huge. Yeah, it's a little heavy. That's, that's Just say we got a box. Uh, well, but here's the box, and we're pulling it out right now. And the question is. What's up with the jacket you wear in the video Grizzly Bear and Backyard video? Um, the jacket you're wearing in Grizzly Bear. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, I, I did wear it in Grizzly Bear. Um, no, nah, it's just one of my jackets. I don't know. I don't have a lot of jackets or nothing. You know, I live in Georgia. And so I don't really like if I was in New York or where it's really, really cold, I would buy more clothes. But I've had the same coats and jackets for years. It's that type of shit. Nothing. Nothing special. Nothing but I know special. It seems like a. a uh, and I, so a, if you see me wearing the same shit, I mean, I don't really have a big wardrobe. Like it's not that. a North Side jacket. North Side Eagles. Yeah. OK. That's what I was asking. Yeah. What's up with it? And that I got from Dusty. Dusty okay. said, I got you a jacket. And I, it was a coaching jacket uh, that the coaches used to wear. And so I thought it was dope. And I had it then. Uh, I lost it somewhere. The jacket. The yeah. jacket. I oh, gave so, it away, but. Oh, you don't have any more? No. Ah, so it was a Northside jacket given to you by Dusty Spires. Yep. Oh, well, that's good. That's a, That's the story. Now you can go see the video um, on YouTube. So if Grizzly anybody's Bear. missing an Eagles jacket, Coach, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just kidding. He's the one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's the one. Well, we know. Well, thanks. For, that was from one of our Patreons. Join up. You can ask Danny Boone a question yourself. Uh, yay. Woohoo. Yeah, man. Um, speaking of that, uh, one second. I got something for you. Something for me? Yeah, I got something for you, man. Oh, what is it, Nog Champa? All right, not not Nog Champa. I got a got a little present for you because because I didn't I forgot to get you something for your birthday. But here, uh, turn I got you this. Back scratchers. Check it out. <laughs> dual back scratchers. <laughs> uh, yeah, dual back scratchers. I figured one for here and one for your bedroom. You know, when you in the middle of the night you need to. Scratch that back. Oh, you too much. Or whatever you <laughs> whatever you need it one for. One for the bedroom. <laughs> what the? Well, the cool thing is, feel the end of them is very. It, uh get in there. Yeah, man. You know what that's made from? Bamboo. Bam fucking boo. <laughs> I love bamboo. <laughs> of course you do. I love bamboo. I like wicker and woodwork, but I love bamboo. I knew it. <laughs> it will grow just like a flower. <laughs> yeah. 
In... <laughs> <laughs> hey, this enjoy awesome. your bamboo, man. Thanks, uh, how about that? <laughs> it's the Fuck way. Hell. I had a bamboo back scratcher at my house, and he thought it was very a cool. Bamboo so, hey. back scratcher? A bamboo back scratcher. I got scratcher. a bamboo back scratcher <laughs> rocking the place. You know what it is, baby. We be doing it now. Doing it up. Doing it up. I like the way you be pointing up and doing that shit on the camera. <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah, yeah it looks like, you like <sighs> you're calling an audible. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know what I mean? You go over there like, like, Omaha! <laughs> Hey, just <laughs> direct in traffic. Let's get it done. <laughs> hey, I was the quarterback. I was the quarterback was for a while. You? Yeah, I was. Uh, I don't believe that. So, uh, this is a shout out. Uh, we just want to thank Craig Cummings, Danielle Dalton, and Mark Berkeley for being our new Patreons. And uh, we're, we're in this together. We just want to let you know that. You're not alone. And this goes out to Jake Trenier. Um, we heard you, we missed your birthday on December 1st. So this is happy belated birthday. Um, hope hope it was a good one and hope you have many more. Hey, man. Uh, well, please download our show. Um, please, please download our show. You can download it on um, Spotify, iTunes, stuff like that. Deezer. What Deezer. do you think about that? Um, how about that? How about that? Uh... Deezer. <laughs> Deezer. So Deezer itchy. <laughs> you guys need to come check it out. Come check out the Patreon. Uh, please like and subscribe on whatever platform you're listening on. Share and rate the show because sharing is caring. Uh, it is. Sharing is caring. That's oh. <sighs> your turn. Dumb thing to say. <laughs> He did. Follow us on all socials. Come watch all of the podcast videos on our Patreon. And that's an order. Uh, we're going to check you next time. Both cameras. Interest, challenges, and circumstances. The other circumstances got scratched out. <laughs> Bye-bye.